Well, hello gang, welcome back once again to the long dark. My name is Lonely Wolf, and we're here in our guide series. Today's topic of discussion, weight management. If you're new to the game or even a seasoned veteran, one of the things that becomes a concern, while a more uh, in the back of the mind concern rather than forefront like freezing to death or being super tired, is weight management. And it's something some people micromanage to hell and back, and other people just ignore it for the most part. I'm one of the people who adopts a Skyrim methodology of carry weight. If it fits, it ships for a low flat rate. So if you notice in the bottom right hand corner of my screen, I have the weight icon full currently. I'm currently carrying 90 pounds out of a potential 76.9. Theoretically, a total of 77. I currently have a, if I can find it here, that's hiding somewhere, Moosehide Satchel. And that increases my carry weight by, if we go back to the inventory, 11 pounds. But anyway, as you go across the world and you're collecting goodies, uh, of course your backpack's going to start to fill up. And as it does, the amount of space you have left begins to decrease until you're full. Now, with just standard weight, if you don't have a moose hide satchel, yeah, I'm gonna clothing. You can only carry 66 pounds normally. Uh, that's 33 kilograms roughly. Um, in the game, it turns out to be uh, 33 kilograms. Anyway, the point is, in so doing, uh. Once you get past that weight limit, you uh, you begin to run into some things. First off, you can no longer climb ropes. Uh, second off, your sprint is uh, less effective, your overall walking speed is less effective, and you begin to tire a bit quicker. All of this impacts your survival, but overall, depending on how heavy you weight yourself, it may not be enough to be of any major concern. Now, when your carry weight's at normal non-boosted capacity, you can typically go to somewhere near 100 pounds before you can't even move. Uh, with boosted, it's more like 120. Obviously, you don't ever want to get to that point. So, the main concerns that come up when it comes to weight management is what should I be carrying? What shouldn't I be carrying? What are some things I could leave behind? And what are the situations that would demand it? So, basically, the first thing to keep in mind is what stage of the game you are. If you if you haven't seen my uh, Strategies for Success video yet, I've got a card in the upper right hand corner. It discusses the current stages of the game. If you're in the early stage of the game, overloading yourself just a little bit, maybe by 10 pounds, maybe 15, uh, convert that to kilos at your leisure, uh, isn't necessarily a bad idea if it means you can get something along with you. If you're out exploring and it's the early game and you're around day 5 or 10 and you're still collecting supplies and you come across a cooking pot and you don't have a cooking pot yet but you're already at say 70 pounds, it might actually be worth getting um, that cooking pot. And if you get that cooking pot, uh, you'll be set to make fires or something, whatever it takes. Anyway. So, in the early game, it may behoove you to pick up stuff sooner and be overweight more. Um, now's not really the time in the early game to be worried about micromanaging, sorting through your inventory, thinking, huh, I've got 17 pounds in fire starting. What could I drop to get rid of that? Why am I carrying so much in fire starting? Or I may look at clothes and think, shoot, it's a lot of weight in clothes. Um, maybe, maybe I could carry a bit less on the clothing side and then... If I did that, then maybe maybe uh, I'd be okay. You know, I might start freezing a little bit quicker, but I'd be able to go further first because I'm not overweight. Uh, so it comes down to weight management. In the early game, not as big of a deal. Uh, no matter what your playstyle ends up being in the early game, you pretty much just want to be carrying everything to wherever you're going to be setting up your base at if you are playing base-centric playstyle. If you're playing more nomadically, then it may uh, behoove you to drop some stuff off at strategic locations. Now, how about if you're past the early game and on in towards the mid game slash late game, which kind of are essentially the same? Well, in that scenario, the thing to keep in mind is what is your goal? If uh, you're out walking about, let's say you are where I am now, you're in Forland Muskeg, and you want to go hunting, and 
you know, say there's some deer out on the ice, or the moose over there, or the bear that comes out this direction. Or maybe you want to get rid of some of the wolves around the homestead. If you're going to be out hunting, you got to be thinking, I'm probably hunting for hides and food, and if I'm going to be hunting, I'm going to want as much carry capacity as possible. So you're going to leave behind every tool, except that which you need to actually hunt whatever you're going to be hunting, and to harvest it, and maybe a little bit of extra space for some firewood or something, and you may drop off some clothes to lighten your load some more. You know, you may say, okay, I'll take a little bit lighter of an outfit, I'm not going to be able to stay as warm as long, but... At least now I have more carry capacity. Or maybe you're moving base, in which case, you know, it's probably going to take a couple of trips to get everything over. Or maybe, perhaps, you know, you're setting up and you're like, alright, you know, I'm going to go exploring. I'm going to go clear out some locations I haven't visited yet. Again, you probably won't need any tools except whatever your preferred tool for defense against wolves is. Um, be it the hatchet, pry bar, heavy hammer, or knife, and either a bow or a rifle. And maybe a pry bar to open containers if you're going to be visiting a location that's full of uh, locked containers. Uh, but other than that, you, you're going to want to be carrying as light a load as possible. So it comes down to how much time you are willing to invest to micromanage your inventory to get it to a position where you're happy with it. Um, once that's the case, if that's the case then you know you can begin to plan ahead you may be able to think okay i'm gonna be out hunting i want to do this or no it doesn't matter i'm just gonna end up doing that either way your you know, your weight comes into play no matter what you're going to be doing and for some players you know they instantly see that little weight icon in the bottom right go red and they're like oh no i'm playing wrong i'm carrying too much i need to drop stuff off other players uh, usually me <laughs> Uh, it will go until they literally can't pick up one more stick and then scream at the game for why we can't move faster than an inch uh, per minute. <laughs> so it, it just depends on how much time you want to invest. Uh, you can do a few things right off the top to cut weight down. Um, the most, uh, it comes down to uh, obviously you're, you're trying to survive. So it comes down to evaluating what supplies are most critical to your survival versus what is least critical. Dropping what's least critical and setting up your gear, what you are carrying and tool-wise instead of carrying all the tools all the time, just carrying exactly what you need for the situation you're gonna be doing. So when that becomes the case, it begins, begins to get a little easier to understand, okay, should I carry this or should I not? And it comes down to your play style, what difficulty mode you're playing, what stage of the game you're in, and how much time you're willing to invest in sorting through your backpack. I hope this has given you guys some things to consider when it comes to weight management. There's no one-size-fits-all application to any playstyle, any difficulty, or anything, any bit of circumstances in particular. It just comes down to what you feel is the, the most dire need to have versus what you could live without and what your activity for that day is going to be. Early game and you're just sprinting from place to place, grab everything, it ain't gonna matter. Mid game where you've either got base set up or you're kind of moving nomadically and you're just surviving day to day, well, perhaps you're just looking for uh, what you need for that day if you're hunting or fishing or whatever. So those are the only things you really need to keep in mind when it comes to weight management. There's, there's no right or wrong solution. It's just some variables to keep in mind as you go about processing it. Ultimately, time spent sorting in your back tap backpack isn't time spent doing an action that could be highly more beneficial. So I would recommend, if you have the capability to do so, spend more time doing, less time sorting. But that's just my opinion. Anyway, as always, I've been Lonely Wolf. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, consider leaving a like or subscribing. It really does help me out. Maybe share the video as well for some of your friends if this might help them. I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, as always, stay safe and stay warm out there.